Hello everyone, this is me, Savia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, um, topic of the reading for you is, will they ever come back to you? Whoever it is that you're in no contact or a separation with, you really want to know if this person will return back to you or not. This reading will help you know that. I will be adding um, oracle guidance for you as well in this reading, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also check out other services that I offer as well. In the description box, so let's see. Will they return back to you, yes or no? Meditation brings answers. Wow. Be assertive. Communicate clearly. Under the deck, we do have, it's up to you. Now, that is something which I could understand with be assertive um, as well. I feel like in a majority of you, um, you yourself at times get indecisive. You want this person back or not. Sometimes you feel like, yes, you want them back. Sometimes you feel like probably, you know, it's the right time for you to move on from them and leave this person behind or leave the situation behind. I really feel like in you know, a majority of you, you need to be very sure of what you truly desire yourself first. Only then you will see things working out for you in your favor. There is a lot, uh, there's a lot of like, uh, you know, stuff going on in your head about this person. Sometimes you wish them back. Sometimes you feel like maybe it's, it was like, you know, the ending was the best thing that could happen to you. Uh, sometimes you feel like moving on. Sometimes you feel like staying stuck on them. Now, I really feel like and it's very important for you to talk to yourself right now about this person, about this connection that you have on your mind right now that you're checking this read for. Because I really feel like, you know, if you really want reconciling with this person, you will be able to reconcile with this person. But you will have to make a decision and stick to that. For majority of you, you are going on and off in your head about this person and this relationship that you truly desire to have. Once you have made that choice, allow that to happen. I really feel like, you know, the ball is definitely in your court. If you really want, you can make things work with this person. If you don't want to give a chance to this person, that's going to be your call, your decision. But for majority of you, you yourself are not so sure. At times you want them, at times you don't want them. So make sure what do you want with this person. Let's see some more cards here. Hold on. Will they ever come back to you? For some of you, if you are dealing with the same sign, I really feel like you know, your person is also unsure of you because of the same reason as you are. Sometimes they want you, sometimes they don't want you, but will they come back to you? I really feel like you know you can manifest them back if you want, but you can choose not to manifest them back as well. It's definitely your call, your decision, and God is going to present you with whatever you ask for. But yeah, let's see. Will they come back to you? Yes or no? Ten of Swords. King of Hearts, Seven of Wands. And in the deck, we do have Eight of Swords. I really see that there are some um, blocks here in this situation. Currently, with when you see, you know, the person's energy, I really feel like, you know, they definitely feel like, you know, connection is over between you and them. But at the end, it's definitely not over for sure. Because there are blocks, if they are worked out, uh, the, the blocks are going to get removed. And, you know, the situation can improve between the two of you. I really feel like, you know, this person still at times thinks about you. But at the same time, they will have to take action towards you if, if they really want to make things happen. But at the same time, I really don't see this person taking action towards you right now. So if you choose to wait on for them, things can work out between you and them. But I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, uh, this person is right now indecisive. Probably, like I said earlier in the very beginning, that maybe there is... A chance or a big you know situation seems like you know there that you both are not communicating um, openly and honestly to yourselves as well because at times you feel like you want them at times they also feel that they want you but they are not decisive about it at all and same goes for you as well there is a lack of clarity and until and unless you both have that clarity from within that you want each other or not you are not gonna find an answer to this question so I feel like, you know, for some of you, you are mirroring each other here because I really feel like, you know, if that's the case, you have to make your choice and they will make their choice as well. So whatever you're going to choose is going to manifest either way. Like I said earlier, you have the ball in your court and if you want things to work out, things will be worked out. But if you choose to stay stuck or indecisive, 
nothing is going to move forward you are going to stay stuck waiting waiting on for them at times you would feel like moving on but then it's more like a you know push and pull that that keeps on going on between the between you know within you and that is what is reflecting in your reality as well so make that decision first and then allow the situation to change between you and them uh, let's see the oracle guidance here let's see how will they return back to you and what is the guidance for you in that situation emotions are running high communication is the key again the communication is very important be that your own communication with yourself or the communication between the two of you is very important i really feel like you know if and when you talk to each other you have to make sure that you are crystal clear about your intentions you are crystal clear about you know what do you both desire in terms of you uh, your intentions towards the future i really feel like you know until and unless you have that nothing is going to move forward even if you want to give a closure to this connection you have to be very clear in communication with each other until and unless that is done you are never going to find an end to this ongoing issues that you're having together. Um, believe in the impossible. Again, if you make, if you want to make it happen, if you believe even if it's impossible, you will be finding a way to do that. So having that clarity, what do you want? And then believing in what you want is going to lead you forward towards what you truly desire. And if you find it hard to have that clarity, first meditate and try to seek guidance from the heavens what is right and what is not right for you in regards to this connection when you have that communication coming in um from within once you have the clarity once you have that you know understanding what your soul truly desires then it's going to be easier for you to uh you know take steps towards manifesting what you truly desire to have with this person let's see some fairy message for you in the given situation let's see what the fairy has to add to the read what is the fairy message for you Look in a book. Whatever your question right now is, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you the words you find will bring the insight you seek. So look in a book is the answer to your question. Let me take that book of answers to get you the answer. If you have that question on your mind right now, um, I'm going to pull one page from the book of answers just to get you the answer to the question, whatever your question is right now, whatever your guidance that you need right now, let's see what the book of answer has to add to that. It could be extraordinary. Um, let's see one more card, one more answer. It will remain unpredictable. So again, until unless you make a choice, it is going to remain unpredictable. What is the right thing for you to do right now is going to be answered with your meditations. I feel like you know it's very important right now for you to look within to find the answers to the question that you are having around this person and this really reconciliation that you truly desire i feel like you know for some of you probably you're indecisive um which is the reason why god is not bringing you any clarity around this person you have to make a decision and you have to stick to that decision that's when you are going to find the answer to the questions that you have around this person i really feel like you know for some of you um in the given situation the best time uh, the best thing that you can do is to talk to yourself spend some time meditating and seeking guidance from the divine that you believe in that's where you are going to find the answers to the other questions that you uh you know uh that pop up in your head as you do that so that's my message coming up for you for this read if it was of help the like and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye